Hi, good afternoon, my name's Simon Hater, and today's tutorial is about VMware ESXi server and installing ISOs uh, and downloading ISOs using SSH and WGET and then installing them in the vSphere client for ESXi server. So the first thing we need to do is we need to enable SSH by default uh, this is disabled. If you have enabled it, then you can uh, forward ahead and skip this step. So the first thing you need to do is log into um, your EX, uh, ESXi server using the vSphere client. Uh, make sure that you've got the client, uh, sorry, the the server itself uh, highlighted, and not any of the virtual machines. Head over to the tab Configuration. Click Security Profile. Then at the top right, we want to do properties on services. Scroll down to SSH. Click it and click options. Now you've got two options. You can start it automatically every time uh, your ESXi server loads up. Or you can just start it the once, which I'm going to do by clicking start. So I don't need to open all the time. So click OK. Click OK. Now what we need to do is uh, load up a terminal. So in this case, I'm using PuTTY. If you're using uh, Mac or uh, Linux, then just load up your terminal and uh, connect via SSH. So I'm going to type in the, the IP address of my local ESXi server. If you've got a domain uh, or a VPS, then type in the address. So I've typed in my IP address. I'm just going to change the appearance just purely for this video. Let's open that, move that into there, minimize that, type in your credentials, so in this case I'm uh, logging in as root, type in my password. Now with, unlike some other SSH you normally end up in the home folder because we've logged in as root, we're actually in the root so we don't have to come out of that. Now there's actually two places you can uh, do a wget uh, for the ISOs. The first one, which is not the one I'm going to be using but I'll show you where it is, cdvm images, ls it, cd tools, hyphen, iso images, ls and you can see I could do a wget on there and um, basically download more ISOs and keep them in there. I don't really like that because that comes with uh, VM tools and I prefer to keep them in the data store so let's head over to the data store which is CD VMFS LS it CD volumes LS it again and the one we want is CD Data Store 1. If you have got multiple data stores, then by all means go into the one you want. Now do an LS. So on the right hand side here, you can see I've got my virtual machine. If you've got um, lots, then obviously uh, within your data store, you're going to get more results. I've also made a file early, a folder earlier called ISO, which I'll show you uh, in a moment. So I'm just going to make a file called uh, temp. So make dir temp. Let's go into that folder. Let's load up Firefox. Let's download. Um, I'll show you how to download. Open to server. So I'm going to click download there. I'm going to wait for the pop up. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to right click copy link. Minimize that. Go back into uh, your uh, terminal. Do a w get paste in uh, the address of the ISO. So as you can see, that's now downloading. Um, I'm not going to wait, even though it will only take three minutes. Um, I'm going to cancel out of that because I actually did download it uh, earlier. So you don't have to sit there waiting for me to download the ISO. So I'm going to come out of that folder. I'm going to remove the, um, remove that temp file. Uh, folder just to keep it clean CD ISO LS it and as you can see I've got the Ubuntu 14.04 server AMD 64 ISO so I'm satisfied that's ready to go so I'm going to exit out of the uh, terminal go back into vSphere 
Um, what we want to do is file new or create a new virtual machine here. So new virtual machine, typical settings, click next, 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 unless you need to change them. I'm going to click Linux. I'm going to click Ubuntu. If you are using uh, another version of Linux, it's not listed. Just do uh, other Linux, 64-bit. Most, uh, most of the times it works. So click next, click next, click next, click next. Okay, so we've got our new virtual machine here. I'm going to give it a few seconds. I'm going to rename it to Ubuntu, which is 14.04 server LTS. First thing we want to do is don't fire it up. We want to do edit settings. If you need to change the amount of memory it's allocated or the CPUs, then by all means change that. The thing we want to change here is the CD drive. We want to tell it to use an ISO. So click data store ISO file. Click browse. If you stored it in the VM in images, then by all means go in there. In our case, we've used um, ISO. So I'm going to click Ubuntu. OK it. Now the important thing to do here is click connect at power on. Otherwise it's going to try and boot from the network or, uh, well, eventually it will time out and say no operating system installed. So I'm going to click OK on that. We're going to power it up. Head over to, um, going to click performance quickly. Yes, yeah, it's, it's initializing. It does take a while to initialize. So I've clicked console so we can see what's going on. Depending on um, the speed of your ESXi server and your network would determine how quickly this uh, initializes. But uh, first time installing from my ISO, I find that it's it's it is rather slow. You may find it fast if you've got a, a better server than me. It's doing something because um, the megahertz is actually right up. Oh, did that actually work then? I think it did. And there we have it. As you can see, it's now gone into the Ubuntu server setup. Obviously, that initial wait, um, you wouldn't have every single time uh, you load up that virtual machine. It's only because it had to initialize and it was uh, reading the ISO file. Not to ensure why it was so slow, but it may be because my server sucks. But I hope the tutorial has been helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.